Have you ever wanted to screen print a picture on a t-shirt, tote bag, or other surface? With Icon Art Stencil Kit, you can screen print bitmap photos. Hey, it's Jennifer with Pigskins and Pigtails. Today I'm going to show you how I took this baby photo of my husband and turned it into a design that I was able to screen print on t-shirt. This Icon Art Kit is a little different from my usual screen printing with vinyl method that I share here on my channel. I use this kit for projects where there's a lot of detail that would be difficult to weed in vinyl. This kit does not need a vinyl cutter. It comes with the light and pre-emulsioned film. You just need an inkjet or a laser printer. Let's walk through how I turned this photo into a design I could screen print with my Icon Art Kit. I'm in Photoshop with my photo and we need to turn this into a bitmap. The bitmap file is going to convert the photo into tiny dots and that's what's going to allow us to make the icon art stencil. The first step is to change your mode to grayscale. Then we are going to change the mode again to bitmap. I leave the default output to 300 here and then under method make sure halftone screen is selected. The frequency setting is going to be based on the screen that you're using. I got this tip from the pros over at Golden Press Studio. They have a great video explaining this process and I'll link to it below. But they use a formula of your mesh count divided by five. Icon Art Mesh is 110, so I divided by five and you'll see that I put 22 here. I leave the angle at 22.5 and shape to round. Now, if we zoom in on the photo, you can see it was converted into a bunch of little dots. I took it one step further and then added some text around the image. And now we are ready to print this on our Icon Art stencil film. I'm using a Canon printer that I will link to below. This is your basic inkjet printer with regular printer ink. I'm using the larger film size for this project. This is 11 by 17. Once it's printed, I take a sheet of Icon Art stencil film and place it with the shiny side down under your exposure unit. Then place the printed transparency on top. And then I use another clear sheet on top of that. This is all included in the kit. Now we're gonna expose for 35 seconds. Then we're ready to wash out the film. It's really important that you use some water pressure for this part, so I recommend a sprayer attachment on your sink or hose. After the design is rinsed out, we're gonna let this stencil dry completely. I'm gonna be printing on t-shirts, so the first step I like to do is put a sticky mat inside the shirt. This is the kind of mat you would use to cut on your vinyl cutting machine. This will keep the fabric from shifting around when I squeegee over it. I don't normally do this when I'm screen printing with vinyl because my screen printing frame puts enough pressure on the shirt that it doesn't move. With the loose Icon Art film, I found it's helpful to have the sticky mat inside. Now you can remove the clear backing from the stencil and place it on the shirt. This stencil is sticky, so once you have it in place, just press it onto the shirt. Because my design is kind of close to the edge of the film, I'm gonna add some painter's tape around the edges so I don't get ink off the stencil and onto my shirt. I'm using speedball fabric ink for this and a firm blade squeegee. With these bitmap photos, you want thin coats of ink. If you use too much ink or squeegee over it too many times, you're gonna lose some of the fine detail in your photo. Now let's peel off the film and check out the shirt. The great part about screen printing is that you can reuse this again to make a bunch of shirts. You would just place the sticky film directly on your next shirt and print again. You can also wash this stencil and save it to print again later. I happen to have a screen printing press in my craft room, so I wanted to show you another way you can use the Icon Art stencil to make printing in bulk much faster. I've stuck the film on top of my 110 mesh screen printing frame. Now I can easily print one shirt after another without having to reposition the Icon Art film. This is a great way to make fun birthday photo shirts, memorial shirts, and so much more. I hope this video inspired you to get creative with your screen printing. You can save 15% on the Icon Art Kit and supplies using coupon code Pigskins and Pigtails. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at Pigskins and Pigtails for more screen printing project ideas.